You already know what it is. Two, three, seven. No place like home. Catch me on on the stoop, stoop, baby. And today, Today. somebody said New Jerusalem was in the house. Somebody said New Jerusalem was in the building, huh? Yeah. Let let him introduce himself. That's how we do it. Okay, okay. Let him introduce himself. We sat through a little traffic to get to Brooklyn. Uh Huh? Here we on the stoop. Uh Huh? DJ Drewski, we outside. Let's go. Yo, yo. And for all y'all that don't know. My nephew, Damo, in the building. Huh? But Damo. like, yo, 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 I got this, baybi. I Mr. got Mr. Mayo. Mr. Huh? Mayo. Yeah, Mr. Mayo on camera. Mr. Mr. Listen, Mayo, listen, listen, right. listen. Right. listen. Right. For right. all right. those, all those, all those cats that know him, they know him as Damo, from, right? Right. If you, right. If you know, you know Damo, yeah. man. You, know you might know him as Mr. Mayo huh? all throughout the rest. Huh? But Damo yeah, in this audience, Damo, baby. You don't come from that smack in the middle of it. Right here on the stoop. <laughs> huh? I'm gonna be honest. It's no hood or borough, and we t- we talk about the tri-state. Just say yeah. tri-state that I haven't been to. Mm. Right? So when people mm. assume or say, I'm like, yo, I've been to more places than you in your own hood. Like, <laughs> right? Crazy. Right? <laughs> so crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yo, I ain't mad at him, and, and he got the bluest size, huh? Yeah. And come through to anybody, right? Right. right. Whenever, however, because it's all love. Like, it's so all, it's all love. love. Like, that's yeah. all love. That's all Definitely, baby. definitely. definitely. Mm-hmm. Well. Let's let let me ask you a couple of questions. Okay. I want to ask you something about the tri-state, though. Let's get to it. Cause you know what I'm saying. We from New York. You from New Jersey. Mm-hmm. So it's always been a tri-state thing when it came to you know what I'm saying anything. Right. Anything. Right. Do you consider your South Jerseyans, your 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 Trentons? Right. Because now they talk about Middle Jersey. Uh, if I'm not mm-hmm. mistaken, like Central Central yeah, Jersey. Central. Yeah. Right. Well, those. Trusty, are they part of the trusty? As an adult, <laughs> <laughs> now they part of the trusty. When you young and you high school, you running around. You don't know South Jersey. That's that's far. Like that's yeah. Philly. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Okay. <laughs> but now as an adult, I give them trusty love. Okay. You were okay. you were you right, right, right. everybody. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, look, look. You gotta ask because uh, you know. You know, they sit down and always talk oh, yeah. about Yonkers. And yeah. I, I just say Yonkers is the uptown New York City. Right, that, right. Yeah. That's just upper New York City for us. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when it comes down to Jersey, I just want to know. Because I go to Newark. I go right. to Jersey City. But that's the furthest. Uh, yeah, you know, we go to Trenton and once in a while for great adventures. Okay. okay. <laughs> that's Jackson. Jackson. Oh, okay. That's, ja- okay, that's not okay. even. That ain't even. That ain't even true. Okay. okay. <laughs> Say get it right. 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 You know, but okay, okay, we consider that. Okay, it's a tri-state. It's New tri-state. York, but when New I do Jersey, interview artists from like South Jersey, like if I interview a Trenton artist, they feel like they don't get the same love as a Jersey City artist or a mm-hmm. North okay. artist. So there is still today that separation because them young artists feel the same way. Yeah, yeah. Like, yo, I get more love in Philly than I do in Jersey, mm. and it's like you know, it's still that mentality of. You know, do we consider them tri state? Do we consider <laughs> but I think the further you are from New York City, yeah, you lose that touch a little bit. So yeah. uh, and that's just what it is. Yeah, yeah. I North, think it is a New York City thing. Right. Cause North is fifteen minutes. Jersey City, ten minutes. Yeah. Right? So it's like you coming from South Jersey, that's two hours. That's true. So there's that's that a, there's yeah, that yeah, little trip. gap. Yeah, yeah, where yeah. You gotta pack up. <laughs> you got yeah, you gotta get in get it moving on that. Right, right. Yeah. But um, let's get into some DJ talk. Let's, let's DJ talk. Some talk. DJ talk. Well, well, baby. what what station? Because you know that that's one of those stations. Don't get me wrong. You know we got a lot of great stations no here doubt. in New York. And we have right, a couple right, of right, DJs saying. here. You, we right. have a couple of right. DJs here. Get to the point. What station, what is, station it, is it that you be spinning on? Hot ninety seven. Hot ninety seven. The, the station, you know what I'm saying? The station. Listen, for a long time, the Hot 97 was the only station for a long time. Right. So I got I got respect for Hot 97. We grew up fucking with Hot 97. Straight cash. Yeah, I definitely grew up. Yeah, because I, I don't life. know about I grew up. Why not? He used to listen to Kiss. He used to listen to Kiss. Again, I listen to Kiss. Look, hold on, hold on. He can say that, but I listen to Kiss too. I listen to BLS, this, that, and the third. But, like I said, there was only one station as far as 
Hot 97's lane. Right, 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 right. Just, right. He just did. So that's what I'm talking about. Don't let him gas you. I, up. All I'm saying is there right was here. there was not even a Hot 97 was, at the time. Wait, wait, wait. We're talking about truth. We're talking about truth. I'm talking about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, okay. But I respect my Hot 97. Yeah, Hot 97. Yeah, yeah. I grew up on all facts. Yes, yes. Right, right. Yes, yes. Dropping a bomb. Yeah, exactly. That's all that be. He's a bomb dropping mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God play the goddamn song, so we want to play. <laughs> Love you, Flex, but goddamn <laughs> play a song. Play a song. Yeah, play he he yeah. plays into that now, like that whole. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's contra. That's a contra. Contra. But you gotta, you gotta understand. You gotta understand where that come from. That that's part of the that's part of the culture, especially right. here in New York. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so you want a bomb drop. At one time, yeah, 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 yeah. drop that bomb. That's how crazy it was. It meant something no to doubt. have a bomb dropped on your record you yeah, know, yeah, as yeah. an artist. You feel like, and I'm sure there's, you know, artists today that when he still does it, it, yeah. it brings you back. Like, you know, like, oh, shit, I got a flex bomb. What was your come up? What was your come up on Hot 97, though? So I came in on the Cypher Sounds. Okay. okay. Cypher came on on the Flex. No doubt. I came up on the Cypher who, um, so basically I used to run down on him. He was the host mm -hmm. of, like, uh, MTV show. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, how the fuck am I get in? Because I ain't have no family, friends, nothing in, in the music business, radio. So I started sitting in a studio audience of like 106 and Park, oh, okay. TRL, you know, the little yeah, yeah. video shows. And he was a host of one. And he would DJ a lot of clubs in Jersey. So I ran down like a couple times. Yo, if you ever need help, you ever need an intern. For months, like doing yeah, yeah, this, yeah. like leaving high school and sitting in the audience just to catch him on the walkout. And then finally they hit me back. Like, yo, you want to intern at our office? We got a couple artists we working with. I'm like, yeah, of course. If this is my end, I'm going to just take it. I'm going to see yeah. where it goes. And Cypher pretty much put me under his wing. Mm -hmm. um, and then just from being around him, you know, I, I just soaked up so much and learned so much. And he was doing a lot. So he was on Hot 97. Yeah. He was on Sirius XM. And he was doing an MTV show. So I was just meeting people, learning a lot, and just showing my worth. Like, mm -hmm. never Spongy asked for a dime. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Never, yeah. It was never about money. Major dudes. Loved, yeah. Major dudes out And there. did what I had to do. Open up for him, DJ, and shoot video, edit video before everybody was doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I kind of seen the, the future of like what video meant. And I'm like, Syph, you do some fly shit. Let's document it. Mm. And started, he bought a camera, like an ill camera at the time. And we just started shooting. And then High 97 was like, who shoots Syphish? And he was like, oh, Drewski. And he also knows how to run the boards too because he works at oh. Series XM. Okay. Boom, they give me a job there. I'm doing video and running like engineering, basically yeah. running the boards. And it just started growing like. Then Angie made me her producer. At the same time, this is going on. I'm like, yo, I still got to make my name outside in the streets. So I'm DJing clubs and just, you know, promoting myself. And everything just kind of came together oh, at one okay. point. Because oh. like, there was, uh, shout out to Titi Torres. She came to Hot 97. And she's like, I'm new here. I'm putting a schedule for the DJs together. What days are you on? What's your time? I'm like, I'm not on. Oh. Like, You're not on. I'm come from Virginia. They know about, they know about I'm like, yeah, nah, they never put me on. And boom, like she's like, all right, well, I'm gonna put you on, and that's how I got on air. But I was already there for like, like eight, nine years before, you know, just working, okay, working, grinding, oh. grinding, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but enjoying it and never expecting a handout, yeah, yeah, uh, understanding the business, how grimy people are, and like, so I just did my own thing and then created my own lane. And like we were talking about earlier, just I, I thought once I got on, the job was to help artists, yeah, but at yeah. the time, it wasn't really no New York artists. It was the same New York artists, the 50s, the locks, you know, dip sets that I grew up listening to. I'm like, where's the new artist that I seen flex with these dudes at his car shows, at events? Where's the new guys? Yeah. And that's when I was like, you know, let me take the initiative to figure out how to start playing new New York artists. And in those past like seven years, eight years, shit just changed dramatically here in the city. Like all the artists from A Boogie's coming out and Young and Maze. It just, shit, it just was an influx of artists. Yeah. Who the fuck you popped over there? I just feel like it's my job. I ain't got to, you know. Nah, nah, nah. Don't be you modest today. Look, look, look modest. you could talk. And look, right, right, right. Yeah. Now they always trying to gas me. To, you know, I'm like, today, today is that day. Today is that day. Right. Is now I'm a J. Cole today. I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, cool. I don't want no smoke. I don't want no <laughs> Yo, yo. You know, we want you to get the smoke. Nah, we, right got right. we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. What makes it better baby. is when the people talk about it. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, even yeah. today, like, I go on my Instagram, somebody put up an interview. Yo, Drewski's 
got the streets, he supports other artists. Like, he's doing an interview with a whole different platform, bigging me up. So I'm like, yo, that's what's important. Yeah, okay. Everyone can run around and talk about what they did or how good they are, but it's when the other people talk, that's when you know, okay, I'm doing something right. 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 That's how I look at it. I ain't, listen, shit, you're doing something right. wonderful, baby. I'm here, I'm on the stoop. Ah, I was invited on the stoop, so. I don't feel like everyone could. You know, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. We everybody don't, we can. Don't, we don't want everybody. Right. Here. We, don't want everybody. <laughs> we do know this. They are going to spin the block. Everybody got to know. Everybody that was like, I don't know. Uh, uh, see you on top. I'm going to see you on top. I'm going to say it. We're going to see you on top. But, yo, let me ask you. Mm -hmm. right, since we're talking Hot 97 outside of Cypher. Yo, what are some of the DJs you respected on the come up as a listener, as a as a oh, lover before, of hip hop? Like, before being before, on, like, yeah, of as, course, as, what Flex did as a brand. Okay, mm -hmm. like he turned his DJing into like you know a brand. Yeah, um, Mr. C, Holla. you know, R. I. Yeah. C. And me and C built like a strong relationship. Like we was cool. He DJ my baby shower when I, had, you know, so we built that. But to yeah. me, being able to call him, like, yo, I'm doing it pull up and he came it's like, still yeah, like years later you. yeah i'm like yo this fucking mr crazy. C. yeah you know i had kick a free at the baby shower mm. and even though like it's we're mutual friends and it's still to me when look i'm like wow this shit is crazy right yeah. but like c flex uh enough you know just seeing what these guys did they they really took djing and, and hip-hop to another level like yeah. that people probably at that time wasn't even realizing you could do you know i'm saying they gave opportunities like for me to do shit today it comes from that. Like, it stems from that. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, those were the guys that really, uh, that yeah. were on the radio that I would listen to. And, and I thought it was a hobby. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until I figured out, oh, this is a career. Like, they turned this shit to a career. They your family, they off, family off, off, off this. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, this is what, I think I want to do this. Yeah. And that's when I started, like, following that dream. Are you a vinyl guy? Early on. Early on. Early on. But Early once, on. like, I started working with Cypher, that's when things was changing. Like, okay. it just came out of, like, that little CD era, that quick CD. Mm -hmm. And now people had laptops. So I'm helping Cypher, like, organize Make the laptop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was, like, at, once I got it in, technically, yeah, yeah. it was now, like, the laptop. Yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah. And you was younger, keeping them up to date. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you always need somebody like that on your side. You know what I mean? That's a fact. That's shit. I mean, look at him now. He's out there. Putting all a lot of the newer, let me not say all, right, but right, a lot right, of right. the newer artists out there now, you still got your ear to the street. And you know what I'm saying? You are one of the, you know, the guys that if I'm listening, I don't want to see what new artists right. out there. You know what I'm saying? I might not be <laughs> listening to some of those other guys, but I'm like, yo, what Drew playing? Yeah, right, who right. Drew playing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, and come up. Yeah, yeah. To yeah. gauge you know, you know? yeah. And those are, that's important. Because right, right, you know right. what I'm saying? They all talked about New York hip hop was dead or it was faded. Mm -hmm. Because you know what I'm saying? It wasn't a lot of the newer artists getting played. Right, right. It was, a, you know, they talked about the payola thing. I'm so sorry. There was not a lot of new artists that had the money to compete with your 50 cents and your, your, your mm -hmm. ditties, your Jay Z's. So, you know, you needed somebody to be like, yo, so I got, you that. got that branch of work. Got to be crazy now. Huh? But, 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 and I'm with you. I'm with you that with that. But it, 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 it all depends, though. Yeah. Your work could be crazy. Uh -huh. But if my listening. pockets are deeper, you know what I'm saying? No doubt. And that's when I, I that's could get that saying. thing shut. Like, yo, some right. joints, though, is, are undeniable. You know what I mean? Because if got the you. streets, the streets are like it, then you don't got no choice to play it. But right? the streets, the streets got to get it. The streets got to get it. This is true. Mm -hmm. The streets got to get it. But don't everything start in the streets if it's hot outside? I believe, it, it, I it, believe it, that, too. I, I believe think it's changed over time. That's right. It's changed over time. With, with the internet. That's right. right. Now it's changed. It's changed. Okay, so you, could do that. you could you could pl put a song out there via internet. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you could put a couple of dollars behind it. But to actually break an artist... In New York City. And, right. Again, for me, that's it the caused, street still. It I'm going to you off. Again, for but me, that's caused, the street still. But, but, it's, but just the street, a, it's just a way to, re to reach them at a at a broader scale. But there's big so artists. So shaking on the internet. These the same motherfuckers. These the same young boys that's, that's outside or whatever. Right, they, right, right. They're the same motherfuckers on the internet. If they if they feeling it, then he don't got no choice. But, but that's why dudes were spinning... Outside if you're of doing, New York, if you're see, see, but but see that that's now you got the internet. You got guys being able to put their shit on the internet. Yes. But at one time, 
everybody wasn't putting their shit on the internet. Right. So you on actually, one outlet. that's yeah. right, you yeah. had to go outside of New York mm -hmm. to make it hot Probably. there to make New York fuck with right, you. Right, right. Mm -hmm. That's, like, you could, think about it. We saw one of the, you know, a female artist in Nicki Minaj. She was here. Right. She didn't pop here. Mm -hmm. right. She went somewhere else and made New York pop her off here. 50 was here. He actually had his deal here. 50 left here. Pop somewhere else and make New York. So. I don't think so. Right now, not with 50, though. I don't feel like that with 50. You don't feel like that with 50? I'm going to tell you why. How about French Montana? No, wait, wait, wait. Not 50 ain't leaving. I like French had to go south. 50 was already popping in New York. Straight cash. All the time. He lost his deal. He lost his deal when he got shot. But the deal. You talking about the deal. Right. Musically. In the streets. He was always popping in New York. Yeah. There was no gap. But, 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 no gap. You're talking about the deal. I mean, but, I mean, the only but, thing but, 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 let me ask you a question. Let me, 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 me ask you a question. Listen to the 50 because he signed with Son of them. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Back then, 50 used another technique. He went to the motherfucking mixtapes. You don't have a lot of guys doing mixtapes. Yes, you but had, it wasn't because he left the town. It, but but again, he had mixtapes. He still ain't get a deal. He had the streets. The but deal. Still had the streets. Exactly. And again, they go back to the point. It started in the streets. He had the streets. He wasn't getting it in the streets. That's why he left. Because New York. they were scary. The sun got hit up. What you going to do? <laughs> scary. <laughs> so they, nah, he was scary, but. They, they were scared talk about the sun. Because yeah. they like, oh. Listen. Right, 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 right. You know what I mean? Yeah. But this artist now, like. Damn. Be a young boy, right? Yeah. These young kids. Yeah. He don't get no play on the radio, but he's one of the biggest yeah. artists, yeah. you know, when it comes to this new hip hop shit. So, like, you know, there, there is that. Damn, I ain't gotta really go to radio yeah. to, to blow up. Okay, right? His song, you never hear an NBA young boy song on the radio, but if you go to YouTube, he got that everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. everywhere. He's killing, he's killing everywhere. Yeah, killing. But like, it's different outlets yeah. now. But I still think it's important to, you know, like you said, be in tune with the streets. Yeah. See what's going on. That's why I, I love being outside. And I yeah. said earlier, like, yo, I, I'm everywhere because I just want to be in tune to what's, what's happening. And by doing that, all them artists, Pop Smokes, and if you talk about Brooklyn, Bobby yeah. O'Foran, yeah. yeah. 4-1, you know what I'm okay. saying? Like, yeah. Yeah. So it's like, it don't stop yeah. because we really outside. It came from the street. <laughs> Listen, yeah. I, I, I've done this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. I can pull up videos from like 12 years ago with Row Row Life that uh -huh. I'm, you know, when oh, I forgot where we was. I think I showed you the video, yeah, right? Nice. Like just from, you know, building those relationships back nice. then, right? And then that's another thing is the relationships, knowing who's who's outside with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, now, yeah, years know. later, now they have artists, you know, yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah. building that relationship. It's like, yo, I got an artist. All right, cool. I'm gonna, I'll support it yeah, yeah, off man. the strength of just the relationship. Yeah. Now, let me ask you, <laughs> Shane. So, somebody sent you, somebody sent you their new audit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, shit is trash. <laughs> <laughs> that now, nah, shit is trash. How do you tell them it's trash? Yo, this ain't the one, my nigga. Go back nah, with yeah, that. Like, yo, I can't do nothing with it. But <laughs> Tell me something else, maybe the sign up. Mayo see all the time, man. No, this thing is it's difficult, man. But he was, bro, the first time, all right, so I met you in 2015 with Maine. Uh -huh, okay. I went back home with you probably like three years ago, right? He gave me mad fire emojis, yo, you superstar. That nigga ain't say shit like that to this year. Bro. He didn't say shit cool. <laughs> Yo, maybe it wasn't yeah. the right one. Right, right. It just wasn't the right one. Because I don't want to waste my time or your time. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. the artist time. It's like, yo, you know, I already know what's going to work. I know it. We, we sit in DJ meetings. Like, we literally have mixing. Yeah, that's just that. Ignore me. You looking like this. You got the, you know how the thing come up where it's, you, you get ready tight. Right. Nigga looking at it like this. And the bubble is saying that. Bubble is saying that. Right, right, right. There you like. You waiting on bubble coming out. He like, oh, what this nigga going to say? Then he like. Hold on, right. this nigga ain't said nothing. What's going on? What happened? He said, another one who I know this shit fire. <laughs> now, you go to him, bro. We don't know. He was like, yo.
Then he was like, nah. Apparently, this wasn't the one. Apparently, this ain't it. There you go. But now I get so much music, like, every day, you know, texts and emails and people running down, yo. It's just now the hard part is filtering through it all. Figuring out your, you know, I, I gotta put time into listening. When am I listening to new stuff? You ever miss the joint? Damn, I had this joint, and I'm, I'm trying, on this. trying to think. <laughs> not, nothing, nothing major. Okay. But it's crazy me coming up under Cipher. Yeah. Under Cipher, we used to go to Toronto to DJ. Okay. And we went a couple times, and Drake would be around. Right, Drake was be around. He wasn't the Drake we know today. Mm. And it was one time. Uh, he gave us like a his mixtape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What's, what mixtape was? Yeah, like a P code on. It was like his first big one. Uh -huh. It was early on. Uh, I'm not, that's not now what to say. So that's he, he what gave it to us like, yo, Saif, listen to this on your drop back. To yeah, the, yeah, okay. And Saif like making jokes about it, right? <laughs> Literally like a year later, that shit went crazy. Drake, oh, get out of here. So I learned from that too, like, uh, oh, let me not fuck around. Like, let me actually listen to something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just put a little bit of attention to it because it could be Drake. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah. but yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, it happens all the time, though. Do you, do you, do you sign artists? Not yet, not yet, okay. because I know the the energy it takes, the time it takes, the finances it takes mm -hmm. to really get an art. I know it, I see it, I watch it. So I'm like, again, I'm not wasting yet. I'm still managing myself. I'm signed. I signed to myself, so I gotta get me, you know, keep me going, yeah. put the energy into myself. But if there's an opportunity. Like that now, I'm we've been you know talking oh, and, and figuring shit out, and yeah. Yeah, but it'd be crazy experiences. Like we work with an artist, they flip on you, like little shit like yeah, that yeah. that discourages you. Yeah. There was a young boy who was about to sign, he just gets locked up. Like yeah. damn, like I was about to put like twenty grand just yeah, to, yeah. and now you said like I would have wasted all my bread. So it'd be little things like that that is discouraging. Be careful uh, with so just yeah, yeah, like a a label. They wait till shit is heated up, and then they just yeah. put the you know the extra gas on it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, if that's what they're doing, that might be the, the formula. Like, why the fuck I'm gonna try to do something different? They they've been doing this for years. They know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. So it was yeah. like, all right, if we see you know shit, you know, it got got the potential momentum. and it's, it's yeah. momentum. It's like, all right, now you know, now we take that. It's an investment. At that yeah, 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 yeah. It's all an investment. Yeah, yeah. I, it yeah. it's crazy because. A couple of people, I, I'm not even in the music industry, but they was like, yo, let's put a couple of dollars behind them. I'm like, <laughs> what? Right. Man, you said, no. put a couple of what? dollars behind this boat? I said, this dude don't want to do nothing but what's the name of the artist? artist? Now, what's the name of the artist? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yo, what's the that's my guy. That's my guy. That's my guy. That's my guy. That was that was that was that shit. Now now I say some shit about a lot of people. But let me ask you though. Just now put it out there. But why though? Why wouldn't you put the bread into the set? I didn't believe in it. Like like. I believe that he's nice, but what? the problem is I don't believe his, his work, work ethic. ethic. Okay. Right, right, right. Like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, he'll rap on so, the stoop for hours. That's the wild shit. We talked about this, he'll, right? He'll rap on the stoop for hours. You tell him to come to the studio, he got an excuse. So, so, so from my perspective of that, because me and Cuzzo talked about this shit, it was like, yo, some might be scared of this change. Or yeah, he might be scared yeah, of the yeah, yeah. things. Like, rapping might come... Easy yeah. to him. It's nothing for him on the stoop uh, in front of the fella. Niggas, he niggas, can rap yeah. all day. But now you put the pressure on him. Yo, come to the studio. We got the time. We got the beats. We got right, the right, right. I got the beats if you want. Homie heard you. He like you. Come fuck with us. And the niggas like, nah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to chill on the yeah. stoop. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm going to just, yeah. Not, nigga. So a nigga might be scared not, of that, not, of that, 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 that particular, that kind That of pressure. Yeah. That's pressure. Yeah, yeah that's that right. pressure. Uh, I, I mean, do it we used to stand right there. Kane would come here to get a 40. Because, you know, we're talking yeah, right, right, right. 40. Big Daddy. Oh, Big Daddy Kane will come, that come that up the block. Yeah, yeah. He'll stand on the corner. And he, a 40, Kane will rap for hours. <laughs> hours. Right, right, right. And then to see him, you know, do his thing, it was just, it was crazy. Right. So when you see the kid, like, this kid, everybody talks about him. What? He I'm just a hood, yeah. He just, yeah. He just for the for the hood, for the yeah, hood. Be, it happens a lot though. That's that's yeah. common. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you see artists like, oh, he's talented. He just don't want to work. He like, don't want to put in that work. Scared of yeah. Some people just think the talent yeah. is gonna get them to that next level, and it's like, nah. Like, I know a lot, even in the DJ world. 
is super duper like talented DJ. Like I, I wouldn't even step to them in a battle because I know how talented they are. Mm. But they work ethic, they, Yo, they creativity right, is not there. You said that, but it's different kind of DJs out here. Right, right. Different yeah, kind I'll, of I'll DJs. Do it. I'll out. give you that layup. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go, Alan. Alan, because we ain't really talking DJ talk. Yeah, yeah. Different kind of DJs out here now. Now you got the radio DJ, right? You got the club DJ. You got the DJ that can only play technician corporate events right you know what i mean he might not he might throw on the pop joints here and there but you put him in the club he's gonna choke right you know what i mean where you place yourself in these categories in these i've been blessed DJ. are you uh, wait, wait, let me, wait, heard, heard yeah. i've been yeah. blessed to step in any room okay i'm talking latin rooms uh-huh right yeah i could like it don't matter what room yeah he's he know like yeah. he's i could play in any room any yeah. environment. and this this dj's like you know that could do that. I'm not the only one. I'm not saying I'm not. there's a lot of DJs that could yeah. do that. Mm -hmm. But like you said, it's hard. Like some people just can't do. It. I've watched it. I've seen it. Like, yeah. but I, yeah. so when you DJ, right? Say you put on a song, but you watching the crowd to see how they respond. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you watching the crowd, yeah. so you know where to go. Right, right, right. The next one. But even oh, coming in, <laughs> it'd be crazy because there's days we do two, three events. I'm doing a party for 20 year olds, mm -hmm. and then at night, we're doing a grown and sexy party. I'm okay. like, I say to myself, like, damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Like, we went from a, almost a teen party yeah. or a teen party yeah. to some, like, you know, 30 plus. That oh. speaks to your talent, though. Yeah. Right. And, and, and versatility. Right. You know, that's, you know, that's, and it's just knowing the music, yeah. knowing, the, you know, but it's just, it wasn't no studying. I just feel like this is who I was. I grew up How many to be, songs like, got on your laptop, Juice? I don't know. I lost count. <laughs> that's Boom. crazy. Yeah. But it ain't even the amount of songs you got. Okay. See, that's the thing. DJs think, oh, I got, I got 30,000 songs. Okay. First off, you're not playing all 30,000. Never. Listen, Where? Listen, what club? You, you can have a lot of kicks. Right. That don't mean you're wearing them right. Did exactly. Huh? So it's like, you might have 30,000. All I need is, you know, 10,000. Uh, and wow. we can rock a party. We can rock a, You know, so... It's not the amount of songs you got, but I do got a lot because being a radio, you need the clean, the dirty, the instrumental, mm -hmm. you know stuff. Okay, okay. But yeah, like we step in any room and, and you, you, you're crazy. putting it down. Yeah, co corporate rooms. Don't like your shit, talk your <laughs> shit. That's right. Don't be modest, guy. Go ahead. Clubs, corporate right. joints. No matter. Uh, no. Anywhere. Lots of streets, block parties. Oh, leave me anywhere. Oh, God. They only in one life. Oh, yeah, the internet fucked it all up. Like, <laughs> fuck it all. Up. I'm, I'll be watching shit. Like, what is happening? Like, they man, probably shouldn't even get the title DJ. That, but that's the thing. It's every you could just throw it on top of your name, and now you're a DJ. Mm. And that's what's happening. Like, you see these kids on him. <laughs> something happened recently. Like a girl, and they get they paying on like thirty grand, forty mm -hmm. grand to DJ these big festivals, like mm. house music. And she ain't know what to do. Like, she's on stage. Her computer fucks up. And she up there like apologizing because she ain't no. And I'm like, damn, you just gave her a kid though. She probably she's younger. She's somebody like somebody's girl. Like, okay, okay, something like that. Yeah. Some, but like she's lit in her world. But as far as DJing, it's so you like, feel like you feel like it's oversaturated right now. There's too many people out there want to be DJ. Or oh, just like you said, she, she's a, she's a female. It's a lot of females out there DJing just because they're cute. Just because they got a nice model. body. Instagram they models. They Instagram DJ. models. And they looking like, oh, this DJ. Yeah. Rappers too. Yeah. It's this the DJ same thing. thing yeah. to come up for them. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? To get a little extra bread on the side. Or because whatever they originated with. Yeah, and I don't shaking. knock nobody yeah, hustle. Yeah, 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 like can't. That no like, I can't knock your hustle. Uh -huh. Nobody hustle because I grind it. I understand yeah. the hustle. But. But. They got to be yeah, like, yeah, right. Now, now, let me say and I don't blame you them. You're a professional while I'm blaming here. the promoters that are booking <laughs> them. I'm blaming the corporate oh, companies okay. that are booking yeah, them. It's like, look, they don't. So I don't blame the person. Like, go ahead, get your bag, figure it you know. But come on, like, there has to be a lot of, like, yo. Then learn, then learn right. the craft. There's no ethics no more. There's no morals. Like, you know, we always debate, like, as DJs, like, yo, if you were opening DJ, should you be playing all the hit records? Like, and that happens a lot with these young kids. Like, exactly. they want to play all the hot records yeah. that are, you know, thinking, like, it's going to make them look good. And it's like, that's not part of the, the ethics. Like, like, yeah, like, you as a DJ, a you know, it should be a lot in your Build bag. it up. Yeah. Pull out. For the headliner yeah, to come yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, but that's another thing. Like, say Mr. C was getting on. You could play every hot record that's out right now. C get on, he could 
take it back and still rock a party with that's crazy. That's crazy. eighty records, you know, eighties and nineties, and okay. so like that's what separates. You know, yeah. start separating the people, but yeah, the internet got everybody. Fucking we need, we need DJ A and Alls. Then we need DJ A and Alls. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Down right. and say, yo, man, listen, listen, you can't be doing this. You got to do it like that, because that was a, you know, to to build up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm thinking I get on the stage because if we on the joint. And you the headliner. Right. I get on, I think I should rock the place. I you know, I'm not thinking that, oh yeah, you know what I'm saying, you building it up right. to the headliner. Ready to go crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, but now you gotta go think about that. Listen, you're still rock about rocking about out. Just listen, not right. playing, playing so think about it. You you're the warm up DJ, right? So and, and, and let's say Drew Drew's the headliner. Yeah. But son, there's a going hour at the club. Right. Yeah. There's a going hour yeah. at the club. Yeah. Everybody not even at yeah. the spot yeah. when yeah. you yeah. playing. You warm it up. Yeah. So even if you playing the hottest joints, you nobody playing hearing. yourself. You wait, yeah, nobody, basically. Uh, 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 you playing yourself because yeah. nobody hearing that shit. So you got to warm up. So there should be something in your bag oh, when you could be like, yo, I could go right here. And but like, that's oh, why oh, I shit, say, yeah, yeah, you, right. you, you need a DJ and all. You need an A and all. Like, you need no A and all. You need no DJ and all. DJs don't. Some of these DJs. The A and all, that don't even make sense, though. But the DJs, just like. A and all? No, no, just let's no, sit no. down and give them some etiquette. You know, right, 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 right. Etiquette, you need etiquette. It's just like when you with with rappers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you go etiquette. Then you go development. But this, what, son? I'm gonna make a rule book. It's automatic though for me. You are two, three, four, and maybe I only know this shit from hosting. Ten DJ come in, man. Shit, nigga, you you can't go in if it if Drew coming on at two. I got nigga, what you and said, it's fucking but I'm asking how you playing, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm asking a question, my nigga. nigga. Like, I'm, 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 I'm telling you what 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 i am Crowded, and they no, try to always always the always straight. They trying to get it. Straight. They trying to bring us back outside yeah, back. too. They trying to bring us back outside hard oh, too. Yeah. With, well, we've seen you on some of the shows, right? You know what I'm saying? The TV shows, the reality shows. Would you be willing to do another one, or that reality thing is kind of that shit passed? I would do it if it's at the level of what Love and Hip Hop was. You know, if that makes sense, right? Because you see all these new reality shows, and I feel like they don't. They don't. They haven't hit that level of. I don't want to say mainstream. Nah, so they don't nah, last. I want to know. They don't last. <laughs> Get that shit out of here. I'm just saying, ready, How baby. Yeah, yeah. Is that shit? <laughs> what love and hip hop? Yeah, no, the reality. A lot of shit is. What what it is? Is they hold just? On, hold on. Yeah, like that shit. Like that shit. I want to know how bogus or not that shit is. Like, how much I, I can only was, speak was for, your, for yourself, all right? And that's all I want to hear. And for, for me, and even watching other people play, you know, play out, it's the, like, when you see the goofy shit on TV, <laughs> that's really the person. They're not telling you to be goofy. They're not telling you to be ratchet. If that's what they do is they put you in a predicament. And however you react is what they get. So whatever you give them. Okay. So when I before I used to be like, yo, this man goofy, this one, this, this. <laughs> and once I got on the show, I realized, oh, that's who this, who they are as a person, or that's who they felt they should be on, you know, when that camera went on. So it's not like it's set up, it's not scripted. Like they'll create a scenario. Okay. And however you okay. react, this this was scenes where like they just try to get another girl to press my girl, and because just based on the real life relationship and just knowing what's going on. They would tell the producers, like, I'm not doing it. I can't do it. I'm not going to. Okay. And the producer's like, no, you got to do it. It's going to make a. I just, they, they just couldn't get themselves to do it. Yeah. Now, like, I respect that. Because, you know, after the cameras are in real life. Yeah, yeah. yeah she yeah, could yeah. go left. Yeah. Go... Yeah. So, just based on that relationship and just them knowing, like, the pressure. They was like, nah. So, I was like, okay. When you see some shit. Look you got crazy. a choice. Right. You got a choice. You got a choice. And I and I always thought it was scripted too. Yeah. Because okay. I seen people do some crazy. Wow. Shit. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Right. Why, why are you doing that? Yeah, right. what? What? what actually is going on with right. that shit? And, and you are y'all giving you, they giving you that big of a bag that you going to do that? <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> right. Yeah. And, I, and me going into it, that was one of the things. Like I want to have somewhat control of. 
the how trade. The, yeah, how, how, how you the trade. trade and you there were certain scenes. I made sure, yo, I get you want the storyline and the drama, but if we're going to shoot in the club, I want to be behind the DJ booth. Just knowing, like, perception. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When people see me for the first time, they're going to see me behind a DJ booth. Now they know I'm, they relate that to being a DJ. And all that shit helped. Like, yeah. I looked at that as marketing. That whole yeah, show definitely. was a big-ass commercial for my brand. Like, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And it and it really did. It, it changed my life and everything. And, and uh, you know, coming from radio locally to being on television, it's a whole different world. Oh, let's, let's. Ain't nothing what like the this. hell is this, man? Yeah. That's real. That's real, that's but real, we though, can't we get, try. we try to. You no, know, that's the look. one thing, Drew, too, we deal with everything. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. When you're on the school, this is, that's real. what comes and with it. we keep it. We try to keep yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the that, we yeah, because we can. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, you don't right, want right. to, like, certain things. Yeah. Certain like, when he ride down Lewis Avenue, that shit going to be loud as a motherfucker. We got to let that pass. You know, the fire truck going by one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how we feel in the summertime and the No, so again, like it's just like yeah, we had we had somebody come in. He came hey, last week. Right, right. He had a really what it was. That that shit was crazy. crazy. That's that's you turn the corner. That, 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 that nigga had his elbow come, come, come up the block. Like, oh, shit. Yeah, but yeah. Right. And this is what it was. But yeah, he, we got the polygon guy. You know, you know, you want to do. That was now and now. Yeah, we got polygon. We got we got Mike. We got Manny. So like, if you know, want to do a show, listening party. Right. Yeah. He right, he right there. Yeah, we got, you know what I'm yeah, saying? We got, um, he was you know, just here. He was yeah. one of our guests. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was just saying, he yeah. came through here with that armor. That shit was loud oh, as a motherfucker. <laughs> like, God damn. Flair, too, right? That'd be the thing. Loud and clear. You know, yeah. the Spanish guys on Yeah, I knew he was Spanish. You know, the Spanish guys. They don't. They sense something. They should be in a little joint bumping. Maybe I'm young. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Let's get it now. 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 let us we just got us some lavaliers, so you yeah, know what I'm saying? We just got the lavaliers, so we're about yeah, to get rid of this. We got some lavaliers. We got a mix of so, boys. Yeah, yeah. So, so we're going to be like, yeah, yeah. we ain't going to drop no bombs, but hey, hey. Certain things got to step up. Oh, yeah, of yeah, course, yeah. yeah. The only we thing that kind of was missing is that sentence. That's it. Well, right. As far as our look, We're know. doing exactly what you do. We're grinding it out. Our first, so we still rolling, right, Rod? So... When we first did it, we was out here. Damo was actually so we got we got another house that we shot at with Damo. Our audio, our our, our our video wasn't even great. Hmm. Our video wasn't we was even using, great. Great, we was using an iPhone, straight cash. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Video One wasn't iPhone. great. Yeah, and then we would stop during the after the summer was over, after the fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would stop, but we still outside. But we would stop. So the first two years, it's our third year. So the first two years, like you was doing when you was grinding. Right. We was grinding. We was feeling it out. And you learning as you go. Too, yes. Like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. So what we did was we'll do, we'll do two, a, two a day, two mm-hmm. a week. So we build up a rapport in our That's library. Right, right, right. You know That's what I'm saying? Work. Yeah. And then we're still out here in the winter. But you know, and when it's ready to have enough. Yeah, episodes, when it's, exactly. it's, it's, it's raggedy out, out here, yeah, to we to good. Money, so, yeah. you know, we did. We did the same thing, you know what I'm saying? We did the same thing like you. We grinded it out for right. some years, you know what I'm saying? Respectfully. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we definitely mm-hmm. respect mm-hmm. your gangster. Mm-hmm. We definitely. Mm-hmm. Who you looking for, my man? Math. Math? Mathematics. I think you going over there, brother. Oh, 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 oh that was oh, yeah. something yeah. wrong. Yeah. No problem. No problem. No problem. He says you heard about that. Right, right, right. <laughs> 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 we had, we had no kid. He was, uh, he was going oh, ahead. He was twisted, so oh, he was going do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he yeah. walked up and was like, yeah. Yo, what's going on? Look at that. Yeah, right, right. But um, yeah, so come on, let's go, let's go. 
That's what I'm going to go. I don't care. Let's go where we where going. Where we going next? Yeah, let's go with it. Yeah. Shit. You know what I'm saying? The Knicks is in the goddamn yeah, playoff. Nah, nah. Nah, nah. We talked about that. Yeah, I know. But he's a New Yorker. We could talk about it. We going to New York, baby. We could talk about it. He's a New Yorker, baby. So then let's get in this. Nah, nah. I ain't talking about that. Let's get into the Knicks. 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 Let's Let's get into some good old New York talk while you here. Drew. Let's go. Talk about now, this. Put me on because I see the whole Knicks. Exactly. So now you now you put it out there that you're not necessarily the biggest. Yeah, I'm not like a sports fan. guy. That's fine. Right. But you are from New Jerusalem. Right. You're sitting in the middle of New York right now. Brooklyn, Brooklyn Natty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, not doing yeah, that yeah, talk. Yeah, hold on, yeah, hold on. Yeah. Easy, yeah. We not doing no <laughs> Nets talk. You know why? Because I don't. Because it's in New York. Say it again. Orange and blue skies, baby. Orange and blue skies right now. It's gray outside huh? right now. Right. I don't give a goddamn. The Knicks better the win Knicks tonight. The Knicks playing tonight. Uh-huh. It's a 2-2 two, two situation. How you feel about the Knicks right now? Robert? The energy. The energy, anyway. You're not as No, no, that's what I was going to say. The energy, the energy is man. good, right? Okay. When they're talking about the city and they got, you know, everybody talking about New York, that's good. I, I like that part. Okay. So if it takes the Knicks to go to the playoffs or win with it, I'm with it. Like I'm, right I support now, it. If the Knicks go to the chip, they gonna burn the goddamn city. <laughs> if right, 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 right. If was a fit. Oh, <laughs> yo. So let me know. So, talking about if, if Madison Square Garden call you for a job. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 Philadelphia Arena yeah, call yeah, you for a yeah, job. Yeah. Which one are you taking? Well, he can guard it. I'm going to the guard it. Okay. That's not even a question. That's not a question. That is a question. That's not a question. New Jerusalem's in the middle. Nah, listen. New Jerusalem's in the middle. He is from Elizabeth. If you were telling me somebody from Camden, New Jersey, now I'm saying, okay, maybe they might go to Philly. Okay. Camden, New Jersey might go to Philly. Okay. But he from Elizabeth. But he's across the street. That sounds like desperation. That sounds like desperation. They were out that's that's how, how that's crazy. That's how they're in the desert <laughs> with a cup of water. Right. It's like an ocean to y'all. Like, I'm going to go crazy. So, you don't see no. them going to the chip. And I don't win anything. They're not. They're not. They're not. I said it's just the energy, though. It's just the energy. I like the energy. I like the energy. You got you got you got to be realist. You know what I'm saying? The Knicks they're not going to win, but you you ex you want them to win. You want them to win. You want them to win. Not, but you know what? You know what? Is in the playoffs. Period. I don't care what city you from. You want them? Can I ask y'all one question? As a New win. Yorker, right? Kick it. Besides the New York Knicks, that one because you got to say that's the best team. What's the best New York team? The Yankees. 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 No, New York Knicks team. I mean, New York. Oh, Knicks oh, team. oh, oh, yeah, oh, like, oh, 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 I was a Bernard. No doubt. At the time, how old was you? I mean, shit. It don't make a difference how old was I. The nigga right, was right. putting in that yeah, work. Got gotcha. you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm putting that. No, no, no. That was Walton. Them. I was. I was. I was that young one. Walton. Not when Bernard was there. When Walton was there, I was doing that. Baby. You know what I'm saying? I was. And when Walton was there, I was a baby. But uh, when Bernard was there, nah, he performed green. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Bernard was four green. Yeah, I was, was you know what I'm saying? No, I, what? Yes, I was walking. No. Yes, <laughs> I was old with you when when Mello was here. Oh, how old? Wrong. That's why I asked you. How old? How old was you when Pat was here? How old was you when Pat was here? Bro, well, teenager. Yeah, teenager. How old was you when Bernard was here? Indian. Yeah, Indian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah
Dallas look good. And they just yeah, get their ass. Let, let, let them win two and a half. I mean, don't so get me wrong. So Kyrie. Kyrie. Kyrie, Kyrie is a great one. But anyway, now I want to ask you. Do you want to put that out? Put that out to you. How you feel about hip hop right now? Since Damo brought it up, how you feeling about the state of it? How you feel about the new artists? Everybody coming in. It's out of a great space. Okay. I feel like, you know, every, every commercially, it's out of great space. When movies are playing hip hop music and they movies and fucking TV commercials, you know what I'm saying? Like, we sport. We have it. I know he said yeah. something about country music or something, but. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he said. That's what he said. Shout out to Pete. <laughs> Everybody wants to be part of hip hop culture. Like, Everybody. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody. So, I, and then now with the whole beef and shit going on. Yeah. It, Sparks it up, it yeah, gives it good energy. energy. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, people yeah. like the rap in the bars, so yeah, yeah. we got that. But I think, I think as far as hip hop goes, it's not a great space. Okay. Right? You think of these hip hop festivals now? Yeah. You never had festivals, like you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like little concerts and yeah. summer jams. Now they doing festivals, yeah. different countries. You know what I'm saying? You, I DJ in Japan, and these little Japanese kids can't speak English, but they could. Rap. The song, they could yeah. sing a hip hop song like yeah. word for word. So I'm like, yo, this is it's different. It's a whole different level from you know when you seen this when you was listening to BLS. <laughs> and now like, God damn, I should have said that. He just hey, he just hey. Nah, I'm just saying it, it yeah. came so far. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so be yeah. just to just to take a backtrack. I wish I wish like Big Sean could join this battle though. I wish Big Sean would show up with the Kendrick Lamar. Wow. Um, Ken, um, with, why he can't? Why? Wow. What was stopping him, though? Nobody cares. He ain't want no smoke. <laughs> yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 he did. Yeah, no, 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 don't right like bring that. up no Big Sean shit while we talking about it. If he wanted right smoke, now, he could have got hot. What you're going to say, Donald? Summer, summer Jam. Summer, summer Jam. Big Daddy Kane. Summer Big Daddy Jam. Kane. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, he, 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 Big Daddy oh. Kane. Wait, 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 think about Summer Jam. It's going to rain. Always. Like, always. 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 Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Y'all. It's on time. It's on time. It ain't in Johnny Sands. It's on time. It's on time. They now, they're they they right. they they offering, they the oh, oh, honor and seat, 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 seat. Oh, seat. Okay, honor and seat. Yeah, so they got they Kane got, performing. Oh, they got to have, they got to have oh, Kane perform if they honor Mr. Yeah. C. No doubt, that's what's up. Are you spinning? Yeah, yeah like you know, in between, yeah, in between sets. sets. Okay. But I put, I put um Sleepy Hollow from Brooklyn. Oh, okay. I got him on the bill. Okay, okay, uh, okay. Cash Cobain and them, you know, I got them on the bill. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Four one is is on the bill, so like. It's good. It's good. We no records, baby. We can't even sing right now. We don't have to go. I got the. I got the great. Let me hold the laptop. Right, right. Let's ride on one time. I'm gonna come in right here, like this. You gotta get the backpack. I got the backpack. Yeah, that's it. I got the backpack. What was the craziest summer jam you think you ever seen? That I seen personally, uh, like being there. For me, one of the the moments that stuck out was when Swizz and Kanye was going back. Back, like uh, oh, before verses, before yeah, verses. Okay. This was before like years verses. before verses, yeah. and they did it on a summer jam stage, like yeah, just playing yeah. hit for hit okay. as producers. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, this shit is crazy. Yeah, and and yeah, the yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. years later it turned into verses, but yeah. that was like the original, like one of them original, like watching them go back to back. That was a big moment for me personally. As being able to bring Cardi B out on that festival stage was, like yeah. two years ago, yeah. Yeah. nobody yeah. like even thought. Cardi, at, you know, with when you, she's yeah, at, yeah, yeah, will yeah. come out on the festival stage, yeah. outdoors. Like, this not even inside. And she came out and fucking, they went crazy. Like, uh, mm, that's that's like that, that was a moment for me personally. You know what I'm saying? One of those type of moments. Was you there when Jay brought Mike out? Nah, I wasn't there. That. <laughs> I, know, I know those times. Those, those was big moments, but yeah, I just wasn't those, there. Yeah, that was a big moment. Summer Jam yeah. in New York is historic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just one of those staple, yeah, yeah. staple events. Hot 97, it's like, like again, Hot 97 was, it was, and it still is, that motherfucking premier hip-hop yeah. hip -hop right, 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 right. station. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. When Hot 97 came, they went full-fledged hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The LSs, your kisses, they didn't go hip-hop. Only way. And, and they, the 
They didn't go with no, 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 yeah, yeah, they, they had they had certain times that they had his powers. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, Red uh, uh Red Alert. Ball, he had his Ball, powers. Yeah. Uh, but again, the hot ninety seven was full hip hop. Yeah, it, it, it was, was full, full hip hop. All day, twenty and that's hours. what and that's what separated them from everybody. Right, else. right. And Hot ninety seven has been doing it for quite a while. Yeah, and they just gotta keep the evolution going to, to maintain it, I feel like, you know. It's you know, powers to be. To keep the station how we grew up on it for the next generation, mm -hmm. you gotta, you know, implement those people the the flexes, the new flexes, the new C's, the new enoughs, right? So I think that's the only way to keep that legacy going is being able to do that, figuring that out. Like right. for this new generation of kids that are now listening, that do still turn the radio for for music, how do we create those big personalities, those big DJs that to carry the torch? Yeah. And you know, once they figure that out. I think it'll, it, it, you know, maintain. Well, we talked about the rap beef. What about the DJ beef? Like, DJs from different stations. Like, how do you feel about other DJs from other Do they be stations? calling you out? Is that shit? No, 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 no. Is it? It's not. It's, it's made up. It's not even real. I think exactly. it's only one. I think Flex got beef with everybody that's not. <laughs> everybody else don't give a fuck about that shit. Like, Flex got beef with everybody that ain't on Hot 97. Yeah, you're not on the street. Flex got beef with people on his own stations. <laughs> <laughs> but it, that's just some, like, competitive shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it keeps, like, rap beef. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for him, it keeps him on his toes. It keeps it going. Yeah. But, like. Nah, I'm fr we friends with people on the other station, right? Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like, but it, it did turn into like a little bit seriousness. People thought it was real beef and stations was beefing. And, it's always but, the outsiders. Right, right it's the outsiders. Outside. It's the outside. But in real life, it ain't even. It's not serious. that serious. It's right, it ain't that serious. Shit, not boy. Not that serious. No, Lex, Lex enjoys that. <laughs> Lex love that. Lex uh -huh. love it. He love it. He you know what I'm saying? Especially, yo, I'm the hottest. DJ in the club. He come from the school the way you had to yeah. do that yeah. to, you know, make your name. So he just, yeah, he likes <laughs> a animal. He's a different beast. He's a different animal. Yeah, yeah. Shit, I mean, and 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 rightfully so. Hold on, he built it. Like, yeah. you know, he built yeah. the city. Like, yeah. when Hot 97 turned on hip-hop music, he, he built that shit. Yeah. Between him and Angie. Right, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. between him and Angie, you know, because Angie was the voice. Shout out to Angie. Yeah, her. she was the voice, and he motherfucking he damn, sure damn sure, you know what I'm saying, spun the joints. Like, you know what I'm saying, you know, some of us listen to Wendy Williams, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, 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 right. But Angie was, Angie yeah, yeah, yeah. was, like, you listen to Angie for, you <laughs> turn to Angie. Yo, what, what they talking about on, the, on, on and Angie's Right, show. who's up there? Yeah, who's yeah, yeah. Talking yeah. To? Who's yeah, yeah. 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 Like, That's you know right. what I'm saying? Like, you know, now they got them, your breakfast clubs and stuff right, like that. But you tuned in to Angie. That's why I said, if it wasn't for them, it wouldn't be a DJ Drewski. Yeah, it wouldn't man. be a, you know what I'm saying? Like, it wouldn't be. Hey, it's really know, raining out this yeah. motherfucker if we on camera land. Right. Yeah. I don't yeah, think y'all yeah. know. It's really raining out this bitch. <laughs> 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 this shit is prime time, DJ. Yo. We really working yes, for you, yes, man. Yes, yes, yes. Outside of the rain. Nobody. What? Fuck. Well, <laughs> now I got this. Now I got this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I got this. He already was beefing with me. That's why he was like, yo. <laughs> 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 they put that nigga in my book and leave it up to y'all. They go like this. <laughs> you got to deal with niggas like this. Bro. All day. Yeah. You, know, hey, all, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. But, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got a little something for you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, we appreciate everything you do for hip hop. You know what I'm saying? We did black and yellow. Black and yellow. Black. Well, <laughs> but um, it's always hip hop for the win. It's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Because it's the culture and you represent it well. You Thank you. We I appreciate you, it. We want you to keep representing for us. And uh, you know, you can come back to the yeah, studio now, whenever man. you want, my brother. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Drewski and the hood. Put it together. Uh -huh. Mr. Mayo. Mr. Mayo. Put it together, right? Mr. Mayo. The whole team. For hip hop, man. For hip hop. Yeah, yeah. For, hip -hop. Yeah. for hip hop. For right. hip hop. For the nah, I appreciate it, though. And you got my size right without just by guessing. Uh -huh. we, 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 get, uh -huh. we, we guessed that. You know, that was a good I guess. I was working. I was calling Damo. Was like Damo. You know, Damo right. was like. He was slow with the response today. Mm -hmm. I was nah, like, oh. My man bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. Nah, I R.I.P. R.I.P. Cab. Once again, you already know what it is, as always. Catch us on the stool. 37, no place like home. It's love, baby. 100. Peace.